Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a glimpse into my winter arc. And you may know about this, you may not know about it, but I wanted to give you guys an inside scoop of what my plans are for my winter arc. If you don't know what a winter arc is, I can go ahead and give you the definition of what I found on Google. Essentially, a winter arc is a time stretching from October to January, inviting us all to just pause and look inwards. It's a season of transformation, renewal, setting the stage for a fresh start. So oftentimes people go into the new year with new year, new me. I'm going to do this in the new year. I'm going to be waiting until the new year starts in order for me to actually get a jump start on what I should be doing. I don't like doing it that way. I don't judge anyone that does it, but it's been shown time and time again, not for everybody, but it's been shown time and time again where when January comes, it's the same us. Like we haven't changed anything or some people, I'm not gonna put myself in there because I change every year. <laughs> but some people like they fail on their goals because they didn't even get into a routine. Um, they thought that January 1st was gonna change their mind magically. Like this is like a special burst of moment and whatever, whatever. I don't see it like that. So for me now, October 3rd, I'm starting my winter arc and so with that being said is I have certain goals that I would like to reach come January and so when January comes I'm in a good routine so I have goals my first goal is from now until January my goal is to lose 25 pounds 25 can I do it absolutely but my goal is to lose 25 pounds the second goal is to get to the gym regularly. As you guys knew before, I was in the gym constantly, every single day, like I was in the gym. And I've gotten to a point where I started to not go to the gym as much because I felt like it was entirely too much of my personality to the point where I felt like I was avoiding things that were highly important. And now I feel like because I'm more attentive to other things that I thought were important and I've kind of fixed that, I'm kind of sitting in that. So I have not regained my routine back into the gym. And then also too, I got really bored where I was working out at and I just wasn't as motivated as I am now considering that I'm at a new gym. So I feel really confident about that. Uh, the second goal is to transition slowly back into plant-based. I told you guys before I was no longer vegan. I think I told you guys that. Um, and I don't feel good. My body doesn't feel good. My mental health is better, but I also know like my mind is just not the same. Like I do not feel like I did before when I was plant-based and vegan. I feel like I feel sluggish. I have no energy. My brain is constantly foggy. And a lot of that is attributed to not only just eating the bad things, but I'm also not incorporating as many vegetables as I had before. So that's the goal. Lose weight, more consistent with the gym, and to um, be more attentive or insightful about what I'm eating and why I'm eating it, because I wanna feel better. So today, not only did I go to the gym this morning, but I came home, made me a salad with chicken and uh, salmon today, double the protein, and I made me a green juice, which is something if you've been following me for a while, you know I love my green juices. Amazing. That is honestly really good. People that don't really like vegetables probably wouldn't like that, but for me, it's phenomenal. All right. The second part on my list for my winter arc is creating a routine. So not only is creating a routine when it comes to going out to the gym or going to the gym, I want to make a specific time that I go and a certain duration when it comes to how long I stay and then equal parts of cardio and strength training. So for me, I would like to start going to the gym around seven o'clock in the morning, that would mean that my sleep schedule will need to change. So let's go to sleep schedule first. I wanna start going 
to bed like I used to at 10 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock p.m. was my go-to time and when I was going when I went to bed at 10 o'clock my body felt better because I would be able to wake up on time to get to where I needed to get to so this means that telephone shutdown is at 9 30 take a shower brush my teeth wash my well take a shower brush my teeth jump into bed no cell phones past 9 30. then after i've gotten a good amount of sleep wake up at six o'clock in the morning and be out of the house to the gym no later than seven so i have a full hour to get up and be out of the front door by seven o'clock so when i get to the gym the goal is to stay there for two hours and the reason why i stay there for two hours is because i enjoy doing one hour, hour of cardio that is what i like to do it is not for everyone but i feel better and it sets the precedent for my day when i've hit my cardio so i want to hit one hour of cardio and the other hour is split between um warming up before my cardio doing uh strength training which is about roughly 40 minutes 40 45 minutes and then cooling down so that's the routine that i want to gain when it comes to the gym after that the routine is to come back home walk my dog give her an hour a bit of cardio so it's going to be another hour for me or not even an hour excuse me let me take that back come home walk my dog walk her for at least a mile is what I meant to say so I can get my steps in that will also go into my goal of reaching my step goal of 10,000 steps every single day that's the goal and also in my routine I want to start journaling so I want to journal at least for 10 minutes a day before I go to bed so that probably needs a little bit more structure but that's my plan when it comes to a schedule I have an idea the little part at the end i need to do a little bit more like shifting when it comes to rewarding myself every time you do something and you're proud of yourself or you need an incentive to keep going you should be rewarding yourself so my goal is every two weeks of staying consistent with my routine that means eating healthy getting to bed on time getting to the gym on time getting to the gym no less than five times out of the week journaling and getting my steps in which is a 10,000 step goal every two weeks i want to treat myself to either a day of exploration somewhere to some people that's not really a treat but for to me that it, for me it is being an introvert that i am i don't like to explore too often once every two weeks i want to explore a different area and spend a few hours there or i would like to do more self-care and it doesn't necessarily mean that i will be doing self-care getting my nails done somewhere because that can be pretty pricey self-care to me could be um, buying a new book that's going to help me with my education and and or doing some self-care at home putting on face masks it could also mean for me to do my own toes do my own nails a lot of things could come out of that so doing self-care is something that makes me feel good and look good and makes me feel more confident that could also mean just buying a new dress buying something that i wouldn't naturally wear because i'm uncomfortable with my body so it can mean an array of things but i do not want to reward myself with food that is not a reward for me it was when i was younger and that's why i've gotten to the point where i am now because reward meant food and i don't want that to be a reward for me any longer so anything except for food will be a reward for me <laughs> the last one would be limiting my distractions so this could be social media that's a big thing for me because i do post to social media and i want to start posting now more on my platform with youtube but having less distractions could also mean for me like being off of tiktok for 10 hours a day <laughs> like literally like i will go to bed tiktok would be like my bedtime story and it's gotten to a point where I've become addicted to TikTok to the point where I constantly feel like I have to check it. I might get notifications like that. So what am I checking it all day for? I don't know. But I found TikTok to be extremely distracting. 
Now, for some people, it's TikTok and Instagram or it's solely Instagram. Instagram doesn't get me a social media high. TikTok does. It's extremely addicting because of the short form content that we have. It's extremely addicting. So TikTok would be something I need to ease myself off of and then replacing that possibly with something that's more informative like podcast uh, research projects uh, information on my career etc etc so instead of having outside world drama fueling myself with something good so i still get the entertainment of watching something but it's something that's useful to my brain and not trashing my brain so that's the goal there and that is my winter arc i want to keep myself accountable for it so with keeping myself accountable, I am uncertain if I want to go off of social media until January. So it's, it's still up in the air for me because I want to have less distractions throughout this process, but I also want to learn how to work around distractions so not running away from distractions but combating the distractions by working through the distractions so i'm still uncertain you know the latter option of just working through it sounds best for me so it's a high consideration so that's the plan guys that's my plan for my winter arc i just want to be healthier i want to be happier I want to get my face my skin back in order I want to get my body back in order and I want to hold myself accountable. So something I did not mention that I mentioned to you guys before, but I want to re-mention it. I want to start posting on YouTube no less than once weekly. So I think for me, um, what's going to have to happen is, or what I'm going to do is film content throughout the week and just like drop my entire week content on YouTube. If I film anything outside of that, that's cool. Uh, but I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to post less than once a week. So that's the goal to not only keep myself accountable, but to keep you guys on this journey with me. And also like talking about school and whatnot. That's another video, but so far this, this is the goal. So, Thank y'all so much for watching. If you guys like this video, go make sure you guys go ahead and drop that like button or click that like button. Click the subscribe button as well as let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys again and I'll see y'all later.